Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You guys already know what bike we're on. This thing is very loud. <laughs> I should have turned down the GoPro, man. It's so damn loud. We're at a negative 18 dB on my Rode Wireless Go microphone. Just so you guys can get an idea of how this sounds. Um, normally I have it on negative 24 when we're riding this bike. I should have at least put it to like negative 21, but it is what it is. So you guys are gonna be hearing a lot of the bike. It does get a little bit more quieter when I let off and you know come up to four-way stops and whatnot. But anyways, the reason why I'm doing this video is I don't have full confirmation yet, but you guys remember when I was riding this bike last and I was uh and I was going to work, I was going somewhere, and we passed the sheriff right on uh Shaw 99, basically right where the freeway entrance was at. And we weren't doing anything bad, we were going the speed limit, I think we we're doing only like 20 because everyone was going so slow right there. It's only like a 35. But there's like light after light after light. So um, I was like, oh man, we're gonna get pulled over. We're gonna get pulled over. And then sure enough, I guess that sheriff follows me on Facebook. And again, I don't know if it's 100% the guy or not, but it looked like the guy and he liked my videos. He said he wasn't gonna bust our balls or anything like that. He was hella cool about it. Um, I mean, we are in the wrong. We say that all the time, right? But anyways, the reason why I'm making this video is he told me that the overpass for the freeway is not fully done yet but i still can ride over there so if you guys have seen my past videos from like months ago maybe even a year ago they've been working on this thing forever he said it's almost to the point where it's fully done and i can actually ride across it so i actually might be taking this route going to work from now on um if it's you know there's no nails and it's not like too bad to get across i haven't seen it yet but it was cool enough, he told me, he sent me a video and said, hey, you should ride over here. So I was like, all right, bet, like, I go check it out. Let's go see what's up. And the reason why we're doing it at night instead of during the daytime is because I'm in the Central Valley of California and it was a hundred and, was 110 today or something? Absolutely insane. I was going to shoot the rest of my aerial rider uh, X-Class footage, but I just couldn't. I literally stepped outside and got the mail took some thumbnail pictures of it and then I couldn't stay outside I really had to go in like it even says on my little Dyson app and stuff that the air quality is just way too bad hey if you guys need an infinity bumper there you go there you go um so yeah so we just stayed inside pretty much the whole day but I have to go request some days off really quick um it's someone's birthday coming up so I got to go do that going on here there's a lot of people like turning and doing some stuff all right let me get out of the way before this guy makes the u-turn to the truck so anyway yeah someone's birthday is coming up I'm gonna go spend some time with them so i need to take the day off and uh hopefully it'll be a good day we'll relax go watch some movies go out to dinner just have a good old time but today is a cutoff and actually this is gonna be my last day on vacation um i'm going back like right before july 4th so I do want to wish you guys a uh, happy 4th and hopefully uh, nothing got burned down in your neighborhood. Very sketchy when everyone has illegal fireworks nowadays. But um, yeah, so it's the day before, but it's going to get hectic. Everyone's already doing fireworks. But I'm pretty sure when I go to work the next day, you're probably going to see more fireworks. But I'm just saying it now because I know this video is going to go up after the fact. Um, so anyway, got to get this done right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, might as well just ride the Talari as much as possible, you know, because I think I only have, if I'm not mistaken, three videos on this bike so far. So why not do a fourth one? Because I've had it for, how long has it been? Like three weeks now? I don't know, somewhere around there, maybe a month. And I know you guys want to see content of it. They're all sold out still. So you guys are still searching for content. Might as well give it to you guys. It's just, I got so many other projects, so I kind of flip back. We've been riding this one, and then we ride the, um, oh man, a bug hit me, and it's all juicy on my forehead. That's gross. Oh, disgusting. Um, ah, the Rumble Motors bike. That thing is so fun. I know a lot of people hate on it. Um, you got to pre-order it forever. It's not going to get released until October. Wait, can I go this way? Yeah. Let's go around this way. Woo! All right, at least I brought a bike that can, uh, go over stuff and i'm glad the gate wasn't like all the way across and hopefully you guys can see i do have the high beam on let me check yeah the high beam is on so you, can, you guys can see a little bit better 
Let's go, baby. I should be going a little bit slower with all this debris. Woo! <laughs> all right. I remember that from the last time when me and my buddy Caden came through here and that dip was still there. So, wait, is it like fully done? Is it just gonna be dirt before I get up here? Uh, oh, it is gonna be dirt. Oh man, come on, you didn't tell me that. That means I'm gonna get this bike all dirty. Well, I guess it is kind of dusty. Oh man, <laughs> my new Talari XXX, no. No, Monica. <laughs> From Fast and the Furious, by the way. Um, okay, so what's the easiest way to get up here? It's like a big old curb to like get up here. Ooh. I mean, at least I have this bike, so it's not too bad. It's very light in the front. If I would have brought the Rumble Motors e-bike, this would not have been fun, but oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take this every day going to work because there is like stuff all over. It is pretty cool though to be on the above the freeway when no one's gonna use this thing yet. And if you need a porta potty, if I gotta go to the bathroom right now, which I actually kind of have to do, um, I can go over there. Uh, someone said that they rolled their electric bike through here the other day when he told me uh, to come over this way. And I'm just like, uh, <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. Which, which route did they take over this thing? This thing is not fully done yet. They still need a while, but it does look like we can go through, I think. All right, hopefully. Oh, man, more dirt. More dirt. <laughs> oh. I make a lot of noises like that because my back. It's so weird being up here when it's just dirt and you, you know you're literally over the freeway. It's not cement yet. It just, I don't know, it just feels weird. That's all I can say. Just weird. All right, all right, so. Okay, cool, so we're good. I mean, well, the freeway's that way. There's gonna be some like exit ramps and stuff right here, I believe, and then yeah, it's just gonna go straight. That's cool. We had to do it at least before they finished, but uh, I definitely think we're gonna be coming back this way just because they still got a lot more work to do. So you'll see some more updates on this overpass on the 99. So if you guys are ever coming through Fresno and you see uh, some construction off the 99, I think it's over by, uh, what street is this? It's like Golden State. Then you'll know. I should have gone on the other side. Yep, should have gone on the other side. <laughs> People were like looking at me all crazy. Good stuff, good stuff. Gotta be noticed. I gotta get some Mr. Central Driver stickers for this uh, bike. You know what else we should do? We should take that new street that they've been working on up here. Why not? I guess what we're doing, we're exploring new territory where they're just not done with construction yet. So where my tax dollars are going, might as well explore. I wonder if uh, this will get me though, going straight. I'm not exactly sure. Because the crosswalk button is over there. That means I gotta get on the sidewalk. And I'm not doing all that. Oh, we still got that noise in the back rotor. I had a few of you guys ask me like how to fix that. And honestly, the only thing you could really do is just change the brake pads. I don't think it's the rotor itself. And I've already adjusted everything and it doesn't do anything. So, uh, I don't think it's gonna get us. And I missed my opportunity to go across. So see, this is why we go through some lights because now that the Mercedes is here, it's going to trip the light. There you go. So now it's gonna turn green for them but it's still not gonna turn green for me. So once they go through, I'm gonna go. Just be safe, guys. Seriously, be safe out there. You never know when the last day you could be riding and you could be dead, dude. You never know. I'm not trying to be all uh, <laughs> down about it or like scary, but it, it, it could happen, man, it could happen. Riding these things come at a risk. It's another thing, man, you gotta think about it. If you're gonna get this for like your kids or something like that. I don't wanna ruin kids like, you know, adventures and stuff as they're young, but you gotta be careful buying this stuff for them. There's some fireworks over there, there you go. 
I think we should take it a little bit easy because I don't know if there's any dips or they fully finished this thing yet. There could also be stuff in the road. They're gonna put a light in right here. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I've noticed that California has been putting in more street lights over and over and over in sections that don't even need one. Maybe they did have an accident at one point. I don't know, but there's a lot. But this is weird, look at this. Like this is Herndon and this is the other street. This is so weird that I'm on this side. Oh, I said I was gonna go slow and I'm just jamming out. Oh, I should have turned right there. Can I come up this thing? Hey, a smooth ass transition, there we go. Uh oh, I gotta make it. I'm not gonna make it. I tried, I tried. I've also been uh, reading your guys' comments. I Trust me, I, I read all of them, even if they're negative. Uh, I don't really reply to the negative ones, but um, about Tesla. So the one that's in front of me, that's a Tesla Model Y. That's what I've been thinking about getting. Um, a lot of the guys have said that if you do buy one, that there's a lot of issues with them, people return them. And I do see a lot of them that only have a thousand to 10,000 miles that are for sale. But if I really like think about it, a lot of people are buying them brand new and they're getting so many tax incentives, like you're getting $7,500 off, they drive it for like 2,000 miles and then they can sell it to, or trade it in and it's worth a lot. So I think that's why a lot of people are doing it as well. All right. But I get it, like they're, they're cheap cars. I'm not saying they're not, like they don't feel like a Mercedes or a Benz or, well, actually those are both the same. <laughs> like a Porsche, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't feel like that. But anything's an upgrade from my Fiesta ST, which is, it's kind of janky. I can hear the exhaust rattling. I got like a, a three inch exhaust on it or 2.75 inch exhaust. It rattles underneath the car because there's not much room. Uh, I hear a lot of stuff like squeaking. Like obviously I want a car that doesn't do that, but I really just want a Tesla for being electric. And plus we're gonna review it. We're gonna talk about it once I get one. Um, on the way back, if I can remember, we're gonna talk about why I actually haven't bought one yet and there's an office that I'm thinking about getting for my YouTube channel as well. So uh, stay tuned really quick. I got to go into my store and request some days off. So give me a second. All right. Turn this bike off with one switch. I wonder if they're gonna know it's me or not. Oh, they didn't even notice. What's up, Larry? Hey. What's up, man? Nah, uh, no, I'm just, I had to request some days off. I'm on vacation. Yeah, so I had to get here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this thing's fun, man. I just went over the 99 uh, overpass that they're making. Just kind of go over there, check it out. It's like half finished, not too bad. Yeah, just thought I would just go check it out real quick. <laughs> you got the GoPro right in there? Yep, yep. Yeah, might as well make a video out of it. Can't, does it show good in the nighttime? It's not bad, yeah, but it also depends on your headlight, too. Oh. What's up, man? This thing's bad. What is this? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. This guy ride that. See you, man? Wow. It's basically an electric dirt bike, but they call it an e bike because it is an electric bike. Awesome. But it needs pedals to be legal. But yeah, this thing's $3,000. Uh, it's like about 48 miles an hour. Yeah, it's one of my babies now. I'm probably gonna keep it and upgrade it like I did my other one. Next year, well, uh, once we get our income taxes, we're gonna pay off our car, and I'm gonna get another bike. Nice. Because <laughs> I don't want to ride that bike all the time. Oh, here they are. All right, request some time off. It's not gonna work with gloves. Reverse, reverse. All right, man, I'll see you. Okay, you have a good day. Be safe. Yeah, thanks, man. What's going on? Man. Thanks, man. Hey, what's up? Hello, dude. Today is the last day to take some days off, so I had to come on. You want to pick up some hours? No, I actually need less. So you're back on Monday? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back on Monday. All right, I got to go because my helmet's freaking cooking my head. All right, man. Yeah. See you, guys. Dang, someone's having a loud ass party. Dang, it's crazy. All right guys, so uh, I'm back and uh, I was talking to a lot of my coworkers. Obviously we're always cool when I've been gone for a while so we kind of bullshitted in there, but I had to get going. So I'm not gonna sit here any longer actually because my head is so 
badly sweating, but I got my requested days off. Well, hopefully, anyway, you won't know until uh, the day comes. But yeah, so that's all done and taken care of. And I just realized I need to get a mirror on this bike on this side. I keep forgetting. But it's pretty cool to walk past a lot of people while I'm in work that don't see it at night because I only take the bikes during the day, like around like 2 o'clock, sometimes maybe 12 noon. But I never go in there late at night, which is like 3, or I'm mean, sorry, it's 9.30 right now. So it's pretty cool for people to be like, dude, that thing is badass, and just start talking to me about it. So I really appreciate all you guys that maybe uh, haven't seen my channel. Maybe you guys are seeing it now. Well, you're on YouTube now, buddy, but whoo. <laughs> God, this motor is struggling. It's not like, well, it's not struggling, struggling, but it just sounds like it's struggling. It's not, I'm not a big fan of it. When it's doing the max, it's like screaming for RPM. I'm really curious to see when people start doing 72 volts and that RPM really jumps up there. I really want to hear what this uh, motor is going to sound like. Go, come on, we can make it. We can make it. Are you kidding me? You got to be kidding me. You guys are idiots. You guys are absolutely idiots. Now you want to go when it's green? This is why people need to go back and take their driving course, man. Come on. No, I'll never say it won't ever happen, but I've never gotten an accident, like ever. I've had one person slightly tap the back of my bumper because it was raining and they braked a little late and their car slid because they had bald ass tires. Just barely enough to put one little crack in my bumper, didn't even dent the bumper. So, I mean, we're talking about like three miles an hour maybe. That's the only thing I've ever had happen. I think a long time ago, uh, we did have an accident on the electric bike where someone kind of merged into us. And that kind of sucked, but it didn't really affect me. It affected, uh, ooh. Did I make it in time? I shouldn't have done that. Huh? I don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, you know, actually I need to come back this way. Let's not go in the front. I just didn't want to go through the drive-thru. What is back here anyways? Just the gate? Oh, there's another way to come out. Okay. Cool. I think it's a car wash right there. We're not even paying attention. Oh, dang it. <laughs> At least this bike is low. If we would have had some 17-inch uh, rims on here, that would have sucked. Uh, I don't know, I heard someone say something back there and yelling, but we out. I don't really take this road, so I'm a little new to this. It's been here for years, I just never come down this way. This is a day for exploring. <laughs> I think I know exactly where it leads to. Just never come this way. Oh, uh, here's what I wanted to talk about when we came back. All right, I got to backtrack. We actually have to go back up the street because there's a spot that I want to show you guys. So, man, I shouldn't have came this way. All right, so uh, what I wanted to tell you guys was, and I got to get over. So I'm looking at getting an office for my YouTube channel. Now, it's not going to be big. It's not going to be like Sir Ronster Big. You guys watch him, which I'm pretty sure 95 of uh, the people that watch me watch him. Uh, but it's a little office space. I think it's like 400 or 450 bucks. Um, free pg e free AC. The only thing that is not free is the internet. You got to pay for your own internet. And it's right here off to the, the right hand side. So let me show you. We'll pull in here really quick. All right. So it's in this section right here. So these are for rent. I got to go to this office right here. This is the rental office building. Go talk to the lady. And I think it's going to be one of these buildings in the back. And they're going to be making a Starbucks right across the street. There is a liquor store right on the corner. I can get some stuff. The only bad thing is I can't have my bikes delivered here because if I am not here, that's not going to work out. Um, I'm going to still have to have them delivered to my current house. But I think it'd just be cool because I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I still live at home. Uh, I kind of take care of my mom a little bit. You know, I pay a little bit of the bills. I don't, I don't pay a whole lot there, you know, so that's why I'm able to kind of save up money and do some stuff. 
but I definitely help out with stuff around the house. Um, if I were to move out, she wouldn't have no internet or no nothing. I don't know what she would do because <laughs> that's all we use for all our uh, streaming stuff now. Anyways, I really want to get that place because I want to be able to have people come over when I want. I want to be able to edit my footage without having to not, you know, cause any noise and be all careful and quiet because that's what I have to do right now. When I'm editing, I have my volume on like four on my speaker system that goes up to 100 because I'm trying to not wake people up and the dogs yelling and barking. I can't really like order food at the house sometimes because sometimes those guys just ring the doorbell when I tell them not to and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but it's just kind of the privacy. It's kind of like having an apartment, but I can't really have an apartment because I feel like an apartment is just a waste of money. I, I really want to get a house. So that's why I'm thinking about getting something a little bit cheaper. It's probably going to cost me, I'm going to say probably around like 550 to 600 bucks to get some of that stuff in there. But I also need to make sure that I have furniture as well. So I'm thinking about getting like a bed system that is like a couch at the same time. Where the hell am I? I don't know where I'm at. So I'm thinking about having it so like people come over, they have a couch, I also have a couch I can kind of film some stuff on. Not like that, any perverts. But you know what I mean, like, <laughs> I actually do want it to be a black couch. <laughs> but that's not the reason why. But I want to set it up so I can start doing my e-bike reviews, talking about the bikes in front of the camera in that room. And then I can go out in the heat because it is absolutely insanely hot, what I told you earlier, like 110. It's uh, not good right now. So I think that would be awesome. But here's some other things that uh, I've been thinking about doing and you guys might not care. I get it if you guys don't care. But everyone knows that I've been wanting a Tesla and I've seen all the comments, people saying they're garbage, people return them, we kind of talked about it earlier. But I can't just go out and buy a Tesla right now because I have nowhere to put the Tesla. It's just gonna sit outside like baking in the heat and Tesla's paint isn't good to begin with. And I don't wanna have a car that I pay like $60,000 for brand new and it just sits out in the sun and it's just gonna get faded little by little, you know what I'm saying? I wanna take care of it so I think before I were to buy a car, I would get a storage unit uh, for the house so then I could put my bikes back there. But the, the, the bad thing about that is, I'm just gonna pass all you guys anyway so you guys can take how long you want. The bad thing about putting the bikes in a storage unit with the batteries is they could explode and get hot. So that's one downside uh, that I'm looking at right now. So I'm a little worried on what I'm gonna do with that. So, all right, I'm going. So, I don't know, like I'm gonna spend like probably $2,000 on a shed if I get the car, but if I get this place, then I'm probably not going to get the car. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is exactly what I want. Things clean. I should ask that guy how he likes it. This guy's a big ass boxy car, can't even see me. But yeah, I don't know. We gotta figure something out. I can't do all that once. And um, I've been making a little bit more on YouTube. It's been great. I can't always keep it up. I will say something I do that a lot of people don't know is that I do promote these videos sometimes. And I wanna say the last month, which was my biggest month, I probably spent like 500 on like ads and stuff like that. Like actually like promoting my video, so. It's uh, it's not for the week, man. You basically, the money I get, you kind of want to put it back into your YouTube channel. You want to try to make some of it, you know? You want to have fun. But all these bikes I buy, all the promotions I do for Instagram, Facebook, and ads on YouTube, it all adds up. I'm almost losing like all the money I make, but it's also helping me live a life that I never had, you know what I mean? So all these companies send me bikes and I get to sell them, and that's free money, baby. You know what I'm saying? So that X Rider that we just got in, or the X Class, not the X Rider. <laughs> Um, that bike is free. It's a $2,100 bike. I can sell it at the end of the day. Please don't go, people. Don't go. Don't go. You guys suck. You guys suck. Okay, people, don't. Didn't even, like, look and then decided to look and know they weren't supposed to go and then still went. People are dumb, man. People are absolutely stupid. I don't know where they went. They turned into the thing. Oh, yeah. They turned it over there. People are getting honked at. Oh, my God. 
Well, anyways, I, I think a lot about stuff when I'm, uh, when I'm thinking about getting something. And I know a lot of people say like, just do it, just do it, just go for it. It's kind of the same thing with me quitting my job. Like, I, I don't want to be stupid and mess something up. But at the same time, I mean, it could be great. It could be a good thing and it can turn into be like crazy. You know what I mean? Like I could put more time into YouTube if I did quit my job. And if I quit my job and then maybe I'm not irrelevant like in a couple months, then well, there goes me like ever being able to like live up my dream and having everything. So I always like to have a backup plan. I think about a lot of stuff when I do it. Like again, the Tesla, I need to put my bike somewhere so I can put it in the garage, leave it there, not leave it outside. That's some extra money. Getting the little building 450 plus the internet plus the other stuff maybe like 600 bucks you know what i'm saying that's gonna be monthly costs that i never had and then i'm also helping my mom out at the house too so i don't know so i'm not gonna fully like move out i'll probably be there like two or three times like a week but i'll probably stay at the office for most of the week it's right close to my work it's right down the street but it's like am i gonna be paying money there and then paying money there and i'm gonna be out like a thousand thousand one hundred dollars i don't know it's just little things to think about it's definitely cheaper doing it that way though even if i am paying both you know for internet there internet over here because places around here to move out for like a one bedroom one bath or maybe a two bedroom one bath in case you want a spare room to have someone come over or you live with someone i mean you're looking at like 16 1800 bucks around here and if you want the really really cheap ones it's a bad bad neighborhood and I'm not trying to live on the whole other side of town because going over to my work, even though we have a lot of issues with like homeless and stuff, it's actually kind of the good side of town. But I mean, it has gone down a little bit. It's still very expensive over there. So getting an apartment over there is it's not the business. So a little office space would be cool. And my bad for rambling on about that for probably the last 10 minutes. I'm always uh, focused on what's going on around me and sometimes I get sidetracked. I notice when I edit my videos, I'm like, oh, I said that already i'm like oh damn it <laughs> i apologize especially when i go to work for 10 hours and i leave and i'm like oh wait i brought the same stuff after work or i forget to bring stuff up that i was supposed to tell you guys but anyways this is the end of the video i really seriously appreciate you guys watching these videos because you're helping me live the dream being able to buy what i want well not not everything like i don't have a house yet but i mean for the most part i'm able to get a lot of stuff that i was never like able to get so I'm very, very thankful because I can put out the best content and I can still have people not watch it. So, like I feel bad for uh, Rum Playback. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's making money somehow. He has a lot of subscribers, but his videos don't get the views that I would think they would. Like I post a video and I feel like he did a better job in like his intro and his specs and all that kind of stuff, but they just don't, they just don't hit on YouTube. But I will say that I do have a little bit more better uh, riding footage with the GoPro setup and the microphone, the way I have it done up. It's very good the way I have it. I don't want to get rid of my helmet because it's a great, you know, placement. Um, some people like Shreddy, like I love his videos, but I, I really need to message him and tell him his uh, videos are too short, like they're too low. His camera, instead of being up here, is like way down here on his uh, chest. And it doesn't look good when you're actually uh, watching videos because it's just too low on the handlebar, especially depending on what bike you're on. I feel like the way I have my setup is great. I feel like it needs to go down a little bit because sometimes it's too high and I want to see more of the bike a little, but, um, I don't know, man. We're doing good somehow. And I really appreciate you guys. So I was going to end it a long time ago, but I'm going to end it. So peace out, guys. Love you. True peace. Later. See you in the next one.